Now here's the progress update on my little router three. And I got the diamond plate set up, all three sides. I went ahead and put a, uh, uh, chain on the uh, x-axis and on the uh, y-axis and then ran the power cord up the y-axis and up for this uh, I'm still waiting on my uh, electronics box so I can mount all this with the uh, one second sorry But, come on. Anyway, so well, that's it there. And I also put a uh, solid state relay on the other side. I want to try to tie that into the Rambo board. I got to get on the form and try to find out what pin I can use to trigger the relay. And I have a nice uh, 5 amp AC to DC converter mounted. Run the Rambo. Hung the vacuum tube up. Got my uh, Centuri vacuum filter so it dumps the dust in the 55 gallon drum. And then I just run the vacuum outside, run the hose in the door, and plug it into that so I don't have to listen to that. Hopefully my next upgrade will be a water-cooled unit, but... Everything seems to be pretty smooth. Got to get them clothes out of the way. They've only been sitting there for seven years. Ah. Uh. I mounted a little magnet to mount my touch plate here. And then, of course, eventually the USB cable will be gone when I have the uh, Pi mounted in it. I ended up just using a uh, tension rod, cut it off, screwed it in in the back here. That's how I got the cable chain in there. I put a piece of Romax in there just to keep it stiff because it was falling down and catching on itself. Uh, use some uh, wire shield to just protect the wires from the edge of the aluminum. Again, all the wiring's temporary. And that she seems to be running nice and smooth. some new ends for this. This is actually a pool skimmer hose for uh, vacuum in a pool. It comes in long lengths. It's really solid versus using vacuum line which I find ends up having cracks and stuff and it leaks but this pool skimmer hose should last a while. I had a hard time finding a right size to fit that. I ended up having to sand down this PVC to get it to fit correctly. And then I need to go buy a spoil board. Now I got this one leveled. I'm going to put another one down and cut it into sections and then put the tracks, T tracks down. But I like not having the uh, power wires dangling and all that other stuff. And, and I kept having a problem with my X axis and Z wires were flopping down. They were getting caught on the end of the pipe and all that so with the cable chain that should eliminate that and that's how I did the back side I just put a plug there hooked to that relay and then I was able to run all my wires inside the gantry 
I went ahead and left the router out because these rep DeWalt routers have a tendency of burning them out. I get to using them heavy, so I didn't want to have to try to run that through the cable chain and all that. Then I'd have to cut the plug off. It just ain't worth it. But anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for everybody's help. Uh, thank you, Aaron. He printed 3D printed me uh, the two more braces that I was missing because I was 65 inches. I was short a brace and I had already cut out the aluminum struts and I really appreciate your time cutting those for me. I burn up all my, I got two 3D printers, but I've just warm slap out making ear savers and face shields during the pandemic thing. So this is like custom bent. I just bent some pieces under there. And then I cut some uh, flaps there that just kind of hook over. So this can come right off. That way if I need to unbolt this to take an end off because uh, before I realized it, I had done a dumb thing and super glued these bolts in here so I could just loosen the nuts where I really should have super glued the nuts and then been able to uh, screw the bolts out. That, I don't even know how well that would have worked because it had came this direction if the nuts were there. So, And the only way to get the ends off is to get in there with a ratchet. And trying to do it with the strut plate on is almost impossible. 